to you. We're coming to you from Australia. It's very bright out here. I'm staying um, with my good friend Zana, who runs Active Escapes. I have the one and only Alec Baker here with me, cool videographer, photographer. We're just gonna try to make this the most epic Australian vlog ever. So it's about six, six thirty in the morning. We're gonna try to go surfing. Noose has got some good beaches. Definitely gonna have to start the day off with a flat white. Get a workout in. Go hunt for a koala bear to bring back in my suitcase with me. And then just do anything, do other Australian things. Have some good laughs, maybe have a barbie. It's a barbecue. And then, uh, gotta fly back to the States tomorrow. Gotta be in Vegas for a movie premiere. So today, we're just gonna see what happens, try to make this the most epic Australian day ever. Let's do it. You can feel it in the streets On a day like this day It feel like summer So, the first thing you need to do when you come to Australia, if you're here for a day, make sure you get a flat white. So we're starting our day off. Flat white's just an espresso-based drink. I do it with almond milk, and it's uh, it's not as foamy. It's like a cappuccino, but it's amazing. And it's like the drink of choice here in Australia. I drink at least three every day. You gotta start off the morning with your flat white. It's just a must. These two don't drink coffee though. You know, at all. No deal. Both of you, Bounce. Aussies that don't drink coffee, you're getting kicked off the island. Line, line. What are we gonna do now? We're gonna go surf now that I got my coffee? We'll check it. This is a vegan coffee too. You're proud of me. I am very proud. He's been vegan for how long? 12 months in October. I've been vegan for eight hours. <laughs> Did you have any... since, since the Lamberger last night. <laughs> how, was it? how nice was that? It was very good. Uh, what but, was that place called? We'll shout out. Kali. Ah, Burger Bar. Burger Bar, Burger Bar Noosa, Noosa Head? Noosa Crest. Noosa Ville. I don't know why Noosa has Noosa Crest, Noosa Head, and Noosa Ville. Can't they just call it like different Noosa places? Noosa Crest is just the name of their towns. <laughs> oh. It's not a southern. It's not a southern. <laughs> Cheers. Good morning. As long as I got you. Oh, surf time. So I've surfed twice in my life, once in Bali was Xana and it wasn't great. There's sea lice in Bali too. I didn't like that, it wasn't that fun. And then the other time I surfed in Hawaii right after my show, um, the waves weren't very big there either. Here, they're not too bad today. We're gonna get out there. I'm super scared of sharks not growing up in, on the coast. Like I grew up in Idaho. We do some wake surfing, you guys have seen me do that. But hopefully we get out there. It's good today. It is good. It is. Yeah? Um, it's like yeah. two meters overhead is what I was told. Shark, but not Jim Shark. Not Jim Sharks, no. Jim Sharks are okay. <laughs> That's your favorite joke. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get some practice in. Stretch out, you gotta properly stretch. I'll tell you what, I get sore in places. When I, the last few times I've surfed, I've gotten sore in places I didn't even like I've never been sore at before in my life. So this is definitely a good little workout here. Fellas, I'm ready to get up and do my thing. Go ahead, go ahead. I wanna get into it, man, you know. Go ahead. Like a, like a sex machine, man. Yeah. Moving, doing it, you know. Yeah. Can I count it off? Go ahead. One, two, three, four.
exiting our amazing day here in Noosa. We're training. So we're at Frank's gym here. Um, we're gonna be doing a chest and back workout. Because we've been training on the beach, we've been doing a lot of body weight stuff, a lot of legs, a lot of lower backs, um, all the bear crawls. So posterior chains, nice and tired. Today, chest, back, superset. So higher reps. I get on a flight tomorrow. Typically, right now, my program calls for a chest and tricep workout, but we're gonna do chest, back, superset. So we're gonna kind of continue that high intense, get in, get out. Got so much to do and see today that we gotta make the most of our workout in here. So uh, we're gonna be doing, oh, and yeah, I'm with Mark. Mark's from Denmark. He came on the active Stop team, Dave's trip. He, uh, he's actually doing one again starting tomorrow with Sean Stafford and Nick Cheadle. So hopefully, guys, you punish them. Right now, we're gonna do a little, little nasty pump chest session. So higher reps, bench press. We're on the incline. We're starting off with that upper, upper chest. We're doing three sets of 15. We've already warmed up. Most important thing here is that squeeze. So the time under te tempo today, because we're doing so many reps, the time under tempo is gonna be decreased. We're doing about one second on the negative, and then one second up, no pause. So just a standard rep there. We're gonna be supersetting that with a rope, pull over, working on those lats. In this workout, what I'm gonna be doing is a compound movement, either for chest or back. And then if I'm doing a comp, whatever one I'm doing a compound movement for, the other one's more of an isolation movement. So that's why we're doing the isolation movement for the back on this one. It's gonna be a nasty, nasty pump. Let's jump into it. movement for chest and did our isolation for back we're just gonna reverse that now so pull-ups our compound movement for our back we're gonna go wide neutral and then we're gonna do a chin up so just we're gonna change it up many reps as possible here so this one's just a complete failure um, if you don't if you get under 10 either rest pause or have your help partner help spot you you have to get at least 10 here so um, it can be up to however many you can do in one, in one setting or in one set. And then we're going to be supersetting it with a seated cable chest fly. That's our isolation movement for our chest, 15 reps. And again, back and forth. You can hear I'm breathing kind of heavy. That's what I want today. No more than a minute rest in between the two. High intensity. Get in, get out. Next up, back to our chest compound movement first. We're doing a single arm dumbbell neutral grip press. So we're gonna go 12 to 15 on each arm here. Switch, and then we're moving into our, our back exercise, which is gonna be just a, a seated row. If your gym has a, a single arm, do that. If it doesn't, double fine. I have one thing on here. If you can, instead of doing just straight neutral grip, turn slightly and really think about forcing your elbow in and that'll bring the weight slightly across your body, but just by supinating that little bit, activating a lot more chest, you can feel it from here to here. Do that, just press up and then rotate your elbow, not just your hand, but your elbow in. All of a sudden you feel that scooping motion, activating all of that chest. So if you do anything, try to scoop in a little bit. All done, nice chest, back pump. We're gonna pump up the arms a little bit more now. They're already nice and, nice and full from those pull-ups. So we're gonna be doing five rounds, 12 to 15, rope extension, 12 to 15, bicep curls, and then we're throwing a leg lift in there. So the abs is the rest period. Once you finish with the abs, back over, and again, just as many as you can, um, but you wanna fail in between 12 to 15. So go to failure. Triceps, biceps, F. Quick physique update. I trained a lot, but I also ate a lot of burgers. So I'm probably, probably right around 10% body fat. Comment on this and guess my body fat here. Guess my body fat. 12. All right, 12, 12 it is. We're gonna go home and check. 12. Heavy. You shouldn't, you shouldn't see visible abs <laughs> if, you're over, if you're over 10. 
I say I'm right around 10% body fat. Pretty good chest workout. I don't know, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not 10, maybe I'm 12. Nah, what are you right now? <laughs> I'm good. I'm gonna have to go back and wash this back. But anyhow, that was our chest and back session. I get on a flight tomorrow at 6 a.m. and I'll be heading to Vegas for a little, little surprise. See you guys there.